How's it going guys, RXXC here, and we're back with the second of our three packs. This time we have the Heos Nilius three pack, which I'm really interested in because I do love the Heos coloring on this Nilius. It looks really cool. Um, and also, I'm really interested in this one because all the Bakugan in this one are brand new. Um, brand new as in no copies, which is really nice because we are starting to get a bunch of copies uh, in a lot of these boxes. Um, which sucks, but at the same time, uh, a lot of times they're, sometimes they're good. Uh, so I don't mind having an extra copy of a Bakugan. Like, uh, we were using Aquas Fangzor for a while, and we had a couple decks with it, and so we didn't have to, you know, mix up cores or mix up Bakugan or anything for the deck. So it is kind of nice. Uh, but uh, I'm going to open up this pack, and we'll look at them like we did the other videos all together, and uh, I'll see you there. All right, guys, we're back, and um, I got these guys out, and we're going to take a quick look at them. Uh, look at them. Uh, if they have any evolutions, I'm going to put them up on a screen so y'all can see them like I did in the last videos, um, so we can get a good idea of what these guys can do. So uh, let's start out with Darkest Pegatrix. Um, this is probably going to be my favorite coloration of Pegatrix, but uh, here he is in ball form. And uh, we'll break him open here in a second. Let's check out what he does. So we have a red shield and a green fist, and here's the art on him right here. Looking really cool. I'll put his evolution to the side here. All right. Um, 200B, five attack. Okay. Um, I hope the evolution helps him out a little bit there. Uh, he's coming with that red shield, which is going to do the Pyrus Darkest plus 400. Uh, that's, you know, a, a really good boost for those two factions. And uh, a green fist for 50 plus, to uh, 50 plus two. Uh, he comes with unrivaled jump which is a five cost for plus 900B. Uh, very expensive, but uh, if you can work your way around to it, it does really cool, and it's got a really cool art of Artulian there, which we still haven't seen, um, but Artulian looks awesome. He might just be anime, uh, anime only. Um, but let's see what Picatrix looks like. Uh, of course, you know, I suck at this. Let's see if I can just come sideways. There we go, first one. All right, and oh yeah, he looks really cool. With the, uh, he's got the green accents on him. Uh, really harsh green accents on that dark, solid black. And uh, the purple's looking really cool, too. This is actually a really cool coloration of Pegatrix. You can actually see the details in his neck a lot better uh, with this coloration. If I can get it in the light there. Uh, just shows up a lot better. His horn looks bigger. I don't know. I guess it's just the coloration. <laughs> but uh, looking really cool. Still chunky. Still fat. He's just a circle with legs. Pegatrix is cool. <laughs> Uh, I really like the Pegatrix. Um, but yeah, really awesome coloration on him. Uh, we've seen Pegatrix a bunch of times before, so I don't want to harp on him too long. Let's move on to Serpentees. So, uh, double green fist. Uh, you're getting a plus two or a plus one. I just kind of picked where these went. Doesn't really matter. Uh, green fist here, and then an Aquas Ventus green fist for plus 100 and then plus three. Uh, so that's a versatile core. Uh, he's going to come with Cycling Icker. Um, that's a five cost Ventus card that is minus eight damage and then return this to the bottom of your deck so uh, you don't waste waste the card uh, but it is uh, quite expensive um, that is a good uh, Ventus way to fight the Pyrus uh, like Cyndius, Mida Cyndius decks let's look at Serpentees uh, this is Ventus Serpentees with two green fists he has 600B, very good uh, with two attack and then if you land on a green fist which he comes with two uh, you're going to get plus four. So he's 6-6, six, six, basically. Um, you're going to be playing this in a deck with, like, Chaos Pegatrix, probably, uh, to get the Green Fist bonus constantly. Uh, and I'll put his evolution up here on the screen for you. Um, he might have another one. I'm, uh, I don't have my notes here with me. Uh, just kind of unprepared right now, but uh, I'll put it up there if he does. So um, this coloration I'm pretty excited for. Y'all all know I like Ventus. Here's the ball form. You know it's Serpentees from his little uh, neck going on here. Uh, cool little design. That's where his head goes. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully they have a couple of little yellow splashes in there to make everything pop. We'll see. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, his eyes are yellow. Okay, cool. Um, so here it is. This is Ventus Serpentees. Looking really cool. His eyes and his teeth are yellow. So that pops really well. Um, he also has yellow on his little heart, whatever that is there, uh, which y'all know I like, uh, the design of Serpentees. He is very good looking. Um, and we've been playing with a couple of them. We've been playing with the, uh, Chaos Serpentees, 
uh, a little bit in testing, and uh, he's doing really well too. So uh, those are two very cool colorations of him. Look at them side by side there. Uh, but yeah, Ventus Serpentis, guys. And now, I love this. With Serpentis, you can just <laughs> smash his head into himself. Anyway, um, now, uh, the fun part, we have the Ultra of the three-pack. This is Chaos Nilius Ultra, and this art is fantastic. Um, I still haven't gotten around to posting my Chaos Nilius videos. Uh, we've been so distracted with the new cards and stuff, but... Next to Trox and uh, Future Lupithion, Chaos Nilius Core is one of my favorite Bakugan right now. Uh, so I was really excited to see that the Ultra got the Chaos coloration. Um, he has an uh, Evo right now coming out. Uh, it is a, I think a Titan. Again, I don't have my stuff with me. I'll put it right here. Uh, but uh, it is misprinted coming out. Um, if you get the uh, Hex uh, version of the card, so the holographic version of the card, uh, the uh, text is misprinted down at the bottom. It says uh, it costs uh, a blank amount of energy to pay. Uh, it is three. It is minus three energy if you have domination. So um, there is the card art there looking really nice. He comes with a red shield and a green fist, uh, a 250 red shield and a, a green fist. Again, I just kind of uh, interchange these. But you can make that the 150 plus two if you want uh, to help yourself out a little bit. Um, comes with luminous armor. That's a four cost plus 900 to a Chaos Bakugan. So relatively cheap. That's actually um, uh, pretty easy to get to. Late game, that's a good boost. 900 is almost 1,000. That's that's really nice to get. Uh, and that's not even really that late game. Four cost is not uh, too awful. Uh, so, you know, maybe run a couple of these in your Chaos decks. Um, there might be better options with other factions. But I'm not thinking too great right now. So, anyway, focusing on the figures. Here we go. So, ball form. Uh, I love Nilius Ultra's ball form. He has a good uh, rolling path here. Really, uh, really flat all the way through. This little pump, this little uh, bump right here doesn't get too much in the way. And he has another long path here. And again, all the way down his heads, which actually stay pretty straight um, when rolling. Because it, it kind of splits, so it actually gives it that traction in the middle. And then back to that. So, a really long rolling path. Very, uh, very cool. Um... I guess I could have opened that a little better, but here we go. So let's pull his little arms out because that is the fun part about Nilius. You can pull his little arms out and they stick out there. And here we go. This is Chaos Nilius Ultra. He looks fantastic. It may, the Chaos coloration makes his wings look really small though. Uh, I never noticed how small the Ultra's wings were until I saw this one. It's kind of funny, uh, but looking at the heads, the heads have the uh, cool uh, dark blue eyes. You can barely see them, but they're in there. They're very small. Um, and uh, if you didn't notice, if you haven't really looked at Nilius in great detail, the two heads are actually different. So this one has like these long horns that go all the way back to the back of the head. And then this one has little short horns uh, because when he evolves, if you haven't, again, if you haven't looked very closely, he evolves into uh, two different forms. And uh, each head is its own form, basically. So I thought that was a really cool detail that they didn't just sculpt the same head and put it on either side. So uh, very good on Bakugan's part there. Um, Coloration-wise, he actually has a splash of the light blue here, a large splash of it, so not a good contrast. Uh, both blues on the hands, so very good contrast there. And these are movable in two ways. Actually, I didn't even notice that. You can kind of T-Rex the arms down like that. Kind of funny. Uh, coloration on the feet. The legs are the... Chaos Blue, uh, the neck, the same thing. On the back here, uh, this is probably the best looking angle for Nilius. Uh, they just did really great on the design here. The design in the neck, the tail, and then the wings have his little wind turbines on them, which is really cool. Uh, let's compare it to the darkest version here. Uh, looking really cool, so light and dark here. Uh, very awesome looking Bakugan, a lot of people's favorite. Um, and uh, just really fun. To mess with. Uh, both of these guys can be relatively decent with the new cards. Uh, the darkest one is getting an evolution that uh, seems to be relatively good with the uh, two uh, red shields. Um, but anyway guys, that is this three pack with the Chaos Ultra Nilius. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am definitely going to enjoy this. I, I love this Bakugan. It's my, one of my favorites and he gets an Ultra so I'm happy. 
um, and happy to see this. So uh, next video, we got the five pack that I picked up with the Pyrus Halcor. Give you a little teaser right here, boom, uh, with the Mantanoid, and we're gonna take a good look at this in the next video. So if you wanna see that, stick around, come back tomorrow, make sure you leave a like down below. Uh, if you wanna see more of these kind of videos, uh, comment. Uh, what's your favorite out of these three yards? This was a uh, close second, uh, but Hey Austin Elias is definitely my favorite here. Uh, other than that, guys, see you next time, and uh, have a good day, I guess. Bye.